Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds, and this week, the dragons are approaching in modern. That's right, we're going to see if we can make dragons approach actually compete in one of Magic's most powerful formats. Can it work? What dragons can it support it? What other cool tricks does dragons approach offer? Let's talk about our dragons approach deck. Jump into some games, see it in action. All right, so here is our modern Dragon's Approach deck, and it starts with 17 copies of Dragon's Approach, and we got two ways to take advantage of our namesake sorcery. One is discard a bunch of copies in the graveyard to hopefully get four in there as quickly as possible. We can't even do it by turn three, and then we just cast one Dragon's Approach, toot around a big dragon, and hopefully use it to win the game. We also have Lockety Yesterdays, which is a weird ram spell, because we have so many dragons approaches in our graveyard, Lack of the Yesterdays essentially makes our dragons approaches cost one most of the time, which greatly speeds up the process of casting a bunch of them to tutor out a dragon. So let's assume we actually pull it off and tutor up a dragon. What are we getting? We got two options. One is Halkite Overlord, which is just the biggest, hasiest dragon available in modern. The idea is we cast a few dragons approaches, get an 8 8 flying trample that can even pump itself if we have extra mana, and hopefully kill our opponent with a single. Hellkite Overlord attack. We also have one Noel's Pine Dragon, which is pretty cute with Dragon's Approach. When it comes into play, we discard our hand and draw equal to the amount of damage we dealt our opponent. So if we can cast like two or three Dragon's Approaches and then tutor up Noel's Pine, we're going to draw six, nine cards, refuel our hand, find more Dragon's Approaches to hopefully cast tutor out Hellkite Overlord, proceed to win the game. Our backup plan is Thrumming Stone. Thrumming Stone, this weird old artifact that has Ripple 4 for all of our spells. So when we cast a Dragon's Approach, we get to reveal our top four cards and cast any Dragon's Approaches that we hit. The idea is with 17 Dragon's Approaches, we should be able to cast a Dragon's Approach, hit another one, hit another one, essentially cast all of our Dragon's Approaches and just Lava Spike our opponent out of the game. Other upside to this plan, doesn't care about Graveyard Hate. Our main plan gets wrecked by Graveyard Hate. This is a way we can win even through a Ley Line of the Void or Rest in Peace, which would otherwise be really tough for our deck to beat. Mana Base, pretty straightforward, fetches some shocks, some basics, sideboard, bunch of removal, Bogart and Halkite to customize our dragon package, Blood Moon to jank people out, some combo hate, Chandra to fight through counter spells, and that is Dragon's Approach for Modern. That's our Gets Odds deck for this week, so let's jump into it, see the deck in action, can we make the Dragon's Approach? Let's find out. Thanks for watching, enjoy the gameplay, and I'll be back in a bit with the wrap up. Need some new Modern Horizons cards? Well, you can pre-order them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com. All right, against the odds time, we are dragons approaching in Modern. And uh, I'll try this. Breeding Pool and Elvish Reclaimer. All right, interesting. So some sort of Primeval Titan deck. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Well, this is perhaps the Nightmare. Ugh. We have drawn two of two Hellkite Overlords. So we have one Noel Spine Dragon left in our deck. Ooh, there's the amulet. Opponent going off. Opponent gets a Castle Garenbrig. <laughs> Picks up Castle Garenbrig. Well, we will play a land. Cathartic Reunion, discard, discard. Pass the turn. Getting a Thrumming Stone in the graveyard isn't the worst. I'm still not convinced we're going to be fast enough, but... Locket will get the cost of Thrumming Stone down to four. This Burning Inquiry is going to be risky. Amulet. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is scary. Opponent. Passing. We draw. All right. A uh, Thrill of Discovery. So we will Thrilling Discovery discard, I guess, two Hellkite Overlords. Play a land. Locket of Yesterdays. Boy, this is going to be close. Go. We need like two turns, but do we get them? I don't know if we do, because there's three amulets. Oh my god, and a bounce land. Oh, okay. Well, we might have to take a risky, 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 risky path here. Are we just literally dead? I mean, with three amulets, our opponent gets to do ridiculous things. So probably? Opponent. Yeah, going off. Doing their stuff. Making hasty primeval titans. Opponent. Well, we're sticking around just because there's some chance that we could win next turn. Yeah. 
component, sagging lands. I mean, maybe we're just dead right now. All right, so after 20 minutes of Primeval Titan doing things, uh, they end it by getting a Bajuka Bog. Valakuts and Ghost Quarters. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. The opponent hits us to 10. All right, we get to untap. We get to crack a bloodstain mire. We get to get a mountain. We get to cast a burning inquiry. Does it do anything? We will see. Opponent going to ghost quarter our land. That actually helps us, so thank you. Uh, we'll get a mountain. Burning inquiry. Dragon's approach. Dragon's approach. Dragon's approach. Wow. Oh, we're going to lose because... Oh! After all that, we actually had it if it wasn't for the fact... Yeah. We needed our dragon and we didn't have it. That does it. Oh! That was actually impressive. We we had our opponent dead to rights if we hadn't have drawn both Hellkite Overlords. That's what, that's what cost us the game. Hitting the second Hellkite Overlord is what lost us the game. Like, we actually had lethal there. That was a full combo. We had the full combo win if only we still had a, a big dragon finisher in the deck. Wow. Well, that was sweet to see what the deck can do. Like, that was a, a pretty sweet example of how the deck can do really powerful things. Uh, in this matchup, we're mostly hoping to hit a Blood Moon in the near future. Opponent is a very skilled amulet drawer, I would say. Uh, Sacred Foundry. Opponent. Passes. Well, play a land. Cathartic Reunion. Discard two dragons approaches. Pass the turn. Opponent. Floats of mana. No Blood Moons. Yet. Aboreal Grazer. Well, at least we haven't drawn all of our Hellkite Overlords this game. Opponent. Cavern on Giant. Passes. Well, play the land. Crack it to thin the deck. Burning Inquiry. Oh, one, two, burning inquiry. Please don't discard the blood moon. We got rid of the primeval titan. All right, well, pass the turn. One, two, I mean, we have all four in the graveyard. Opponent, dryad of the Ilsen Grove. Yeah. Bounce land, untaps it. And Eladrami's call to get a titan. Yeah, it gets a titan. Cavern. Well, I mean, we get to blood moon. I think we definitely have to blood moon before we dragons approach, unfortunately. We draw mountain. So, Bloodstained Mire, crack it to thin the deck. Yeah, I think we definitely have to Blood Moon, because if we don't Blood Moon, we probably just lose through our dragon. So, we will Blood Moon. Opponent untaps. Plays Mountain. And a growth chain. <laughs> Vesuva, what happens if, uh, what happens if Blood Moon goes away? What is Vesuva? Nothing? A land that just doesn't tap for mana? Well, we will Dragon's Approach. Exile. Halkite Overlord, land, combat, hit ya, <laughs> pump it, pump it. All right, opponent, you get one turn, you get one. There can be only one. Flagstones, and scoops it up. Whoo, you know what this means? You know what this means? If we hadn't drawn both of our Halkite Overlords last game, we would have won this match against Amulet Titan. <laughs> <laughs> that would have that would have done it. That would have done it. Run it back. Run it back. Well, okay. No blood moon. We got a couple of ways of filtering through the deck though. Uh, opponent. Basic. And a reclaimer. Bloodstain Mire. Go. Uh, opponent. Flagstone's gonna get their ramp on. It's a, a combo. Yeah, we'll crack this. Get a sacred foundry. Opponent gets a land and another land. No amulet this game at least. Well, Bloodstained Mire, crack it. Get a mountain. Thrilling Discovery. Discard, discard. Pass the turn. The other issue is our opponent can use this to get a Bajuka Bog. Oh my goodness, they top deck the amulet. Oh no! Opponent, gonna do some more ramping. This time they get to untap their lands. Temple Garden, untaps. Gets a Boros Garrison. Untaps and Summoner's Pact gets a Dryad, Opponent, Dryad, and a Forest, and a Telerio has to untap. Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Dragon's Approach. Well, we will Cathartic Reunion, Discard, Discard, Sacred Foundry tapped, pass the turn. 
I mean, I guess they do have to pay this pact, so they don't get to Titan yet. I mean, maybe they can still do it with, with this Amulet and the Boros Garrison and the Reclaimer. Can they still get six mana this turn? Land and Bounce Land. Our hand is a lot of lands at the moment. Untaps. Makes a bunch of mana. Sacks a land. All right. Gets a Bajookabog to deal with our graveyard. Sure. About it. Goes attacking. Well, come on, Blood Moon. I guess they still get to Titan either way. Oh, uh, well, that's Burning Inquiry. Please don't discard Thrumming Stone. <clears throat> we discard Thrumming Stone. Opponent discards lands. We will play the Blood Moon. I don't know if this actually saves us here. We'll see. Because our opponent did get two forests. Opponent. Wow. So opponent did not discard the Primeval Titan. Ugh. This has been brutal in about 20 different ways. Opponent gets two Valakids. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Huh. Well, Burning Inquiry failed us. Opponent passes. No, 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 no. Makes three red mana. Realizes that Blood Moon is a magic card. Unmakes three red mana. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Well, that does it. Oh, wow. Whew. All right. Against the odds time, we are hoping that some dragons approach in modern island for our opponent. Sleight of hand. Okay, so storm, I guess? Well, we got a lot of dragons approaches. If only we had a way to get them in the graveyard. Oh, opponent untaps. Yeah, we could use, like, a cathartic reunion or something. Steam vents for our opponent. Untapped. All right, so it is literally Storm. <laughs> Dragon's Approach. Go. Opponent plays a pathway. Pyromancer's Ascension. Goes to combat. Attacks. Ooh, that would be so good if we had white mana, but we don't. Well, Dragon's Approach, you go. So the cost of Dragon's Approach down to two and then one. So we can do really sweet things in two turns. Do we live two turns against Storm? Brawl. Well, a second cost reduction effect doesn't really matter much. Opponent hits us. Well, we will play Dragon's Approach. Play a land. Dragon's Approach. Pass the turn. Well, next turn's the turn. Do we live? The Dragon approaches next turn, and the Dragon does win the game. Opponent on taps. This is it. We kick back. We cannot interact. Kill us if you can, Storm. Sax, desperately, looking for the win. Can they find it? Opponent attacks. Passes, all right. Well, Dragon's Approach. Dragon's Approach. Exile them all. Get a Halkite Overlord. Go to combat. Attack you. Ho! Ho! Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> Our opponent fizzled, and, and that was enough to, to let us get there. Well, Dapping Sphere's definitely in. We're going to go down, I think, Season Pyromancers. Bring in the Flame Slash. Oh, maybe you're going to lock it for a Flame Slash? Try it like that. Well, it worked last time. Certain Visions. Two to the top. Well, Mountain and Locket of Yesterdays. Go. Uh, opponent. Ops. Sure. Well, come on, one of our rummaging effects to get dragons approaches in the graveyard. That works. Bloodstained Mire, crack it. Sacred Foundry, untapped. Drilling Discovery, discard, discard. Ooh, Thrumming Stones, okay. Okay, okay. I mean, Thrumming Stone is sweet. Come on, another Thrilling Discovery, please. <laughs> Found it. Pass it. Bloodstained Mire, crack it. Thin the deck. Mount in. Dragons approach. Pass the turn. Opponent. Are we dead? Mounted. Oh, there's Electromancer. Okay. Opponent passes. We draw. Thrilling Discovery. Well, Thrilling Discovery. Discard Thrumming Stone and Dragon's Approach. Flame Slash Electromancer. Arid Mesa. Yeah, let's just pass. We could Burning Inquiry, but we actually kind of want to play this Thrumming Stone. Steam Vents. Untapped. Uh-oh. Are we dead? Sleight of Hand. Oh, if we get one more turn, we got a shot. We got a shot. Do we get one more turn, opponent? Ops. Certainly. It's feeling like we might. Brawl. And opponent passing. All right. Well, let's see what we find. Crack. <laughs> Sacred Foundry tapped. Dragon's Approach. All right. We're going to go for it. Land. Thrumming Stone. Dragon's Approach. Ripple. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear! Oh 
Oh boy, that's bad. Yeah. Well, you're you're go. Cool. <laughs> oh, we did the hard part, but we failed at the easy part, and now our opponent gets to untap with a brawl, and I don't know how we don't die now. It would be. It would be miraculous, about it, rituals, up to four eight man altogether. Past in flames. Well, past in flames probably f that's weird sequencing. Uh past in flames probably finishes it. But we'll see. It is not guaranteed over. The bigger problem is we actually don't have the win even if we untap. Even if we untap, we we drew into two lands and a damping sphere. Opponent flashing everything back. Without a mana morphos, they are getting pinched on blue mana. Storm count seven. Ops. All right. And, well, unless they find a mana morphos, they're down to their final blue mana to the bottom. And sleight of hand, last blue mana. Oh, they found. Oh, wait. Cast pass in flames again to cast more rituals. What is this building towards? All right, great. Well, they have multiple grape shots. Oh, that's so sad. Well, our opponent. Apparently did not have the win. Little did our opponent know, neither did we. Well, we would have hit Cathartic Reunion. Discard, discard, draw three. All right, so we would have hit, we would have hit the dragon's approaches. I against the odds time. The dragons are approaching in modern and... Yeah, I mean, I guess we keep this. Thossies is, is tough. Oh my God, Wandering Grave. Oh dear. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, off to a, a not super awesome start here. Takes the obvious choice and passes. Well, we will play Arid Mesa. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Misty Rainforest. Cracks a Misty Rainforest. Snow Covered Forest Noble Hierarch. Well, we will crack this. Get a Sacred Foundry tap. Untap. Draw something good. All right, more lands. We'll pass the turn. We have like 20 cathartic reunion effects in the deck, almost. 15? Polluted Delta for our opponent. Cracks Polluted Delta. Gets a snow covered swamp. Gets Luris. Plays a noble in their noble hierarch. Well, we'll get a sacred foundry. Come on, real draw. Real draw. Well, all right. Season Pyromancer's fine. Season Pyromancer. Discard a couple dragons approaches. Pass the turn. Snapcaster Inquisition. Yup. Takes. Cathartic Reunion. Again. Breeding Pool tapped. Opponent passes. We draw. A Dragon's Approach. Attack you with everything. Opponent blocks. Takes two. Wait. Okay, blocks and Abrupt Decays. Oh, we'll play a land. We will Dragon's Approach. Hit ya. Down to 11. Past the turn. Three in the graveyard. Well, there's the combo. Opponent finds a bobble. Oh, so now our opponent gets to draw a ton of cards. Opponent. Luris. Bobble. Draws. Yeah, it looks like our opponent's low on cards, but in reality, they're not that low on cards. Gets in with the Noble Hierarch. Hits us. Down to 14. So opponent gets to refuel. Gonna draw more cards. Yeah, we find Thrumming Stone. Well, that's interesting. We are going to cast it. If they drew into a counter off the bobble, I'm going to cry. <laughs> All right. This is our hopes and dreams. Does it stick? If this Thrumming Stone sticks and our opponent doesn't find a Thought Seize to take our drag, oh my goodness, that would be even more brutal. Maybe, maybe. Lure says, will ya? Bobble returns. All we, we want to do is cast this Dragon's Approach. That's it. That's all. More bobbles. Opponent's just going to have a new hand here in a minute. Swamp. Tarmogoyf, sure. Combat. Attacks. That will block. Alright, no whammies. No whammies, no getting unlucky. Opponent cracks the bobble to take a peek. Well, here goes. Um, Bloodstained Mire. Crack it to thin the deck. Mountain. Dragon's Approach. Ripple. Yes. Okay, Dragon's Approach. Oh my goodness, is this happening? Uh, any order. Ripple. Yes. Oh, we got one. Almost a whiff. Oh, we got him. We got him. Dragon's approach. <laughs> Any order. Trigger. Yes. It would be nice to get a double hit at some point. If we can get a double hit that protects us from whiffing it once in the future. Well, there's the whiff. All right. Oh, I think this is fine, though, because we get to let these resolve. We're going to be able to restart with Null Spine Dragon. Null Spine Dragon. Yes. 
Dragon's Approach. And then we will Dragon's Approach again. Ripple. Yes. Dragon's Approach. And that should... That should do it. That should do it. <laughs> wow. All right. I mean, our opponent was doing real magic things, but uh, apparently real magic things cannot cannot overcome. <laughs> Dragon's Approach. Snapcasters, Tarmogoyfs, Lurus, 20 extra cards drawn. Meh. Dragon's Approach. Don't care. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's so good. Bad news is, Graveyard Hate can be really good against our primary plan. Uh, so, are we janking him out with Blood Moon? So I think we're going down Locket of Yesterdays, which is dependent on the Graveyard. We want to minimize our reliance on the Graveyard to some extent. Bring in Flame Slash. Yeah, Blood Moon's probably not that good. They're playing a lot of basics. Let's uh, let's try it like that. Game two, not nearly as epic. We start with a hand that is reliant on Burning and Greek. Cathartic Reunion, opponent, double discard spell. Strips all of our card filtering. The only saving grace is we have some Dragon's Approaches, and our opponent's painful mana base is actually quickly eating away their life total. They're all the way down to 11 when we top deck a C and Pyromancer to add some stuff to the battlefield with removal and thrumming stone and a dragon's approach in hand. Opponent tries to stabilize with Goyf, but we have the answer. We attack our opponent down to seven. We dragon's approach them down to four, putting them just one point of damage away from losing. But then, with Lurus looming, the sideboard cards start coming out. I'll play a land. Are we gonna end up like one point of damage short? We might. We might. Oh, clean to dust. Back up to seven. Well, good news is this does mean we get to Thrumming Stone. Go. No. Rejected! Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're dead. Oh. Oh, that's brutal. That is brutal. Because now our opponent just gets to Luris and do Luris things. If it wasn't for Luris, I think we'd be we'd be in really good shape. But because of Luris, we are very much not. Best draw might be Burning Inquiry. Opponent. Rebuilds, passes, well, mountain, dragon's approach. All right, this is it. So I guess our hope is we draw a dragon's approach, we resolve the dragon's approach, we get a hellkite overlord and win. Could happen. I mean, they have clean to dust though, so I guess none of this actually matters. Opponent goes to combat attacks. Yeah, because of that clean to dust, the graveyard hate, opponent plays a land. Wow, we actually put our opponent very much to the test though. Like they needed... They need a whole bunch of sideboard cards to not get Dragon's Approach. Well, I mean, you know, Dragon's Approach, unfortunately, clean to dust, means our opponent win uh, survives. And yeah, so close, so close. Or maybe they have an actual counter too. Well, all right, Drown in the Lock as well. Wow, that was close. That was so close. Well, we will run it back. Try again. All right, we get to play first. Game three is pretty much more of the same. We try to filter through our deck. Our opponent tries to take our card filtering with discard spells. The big problem is another sideboard card shows up in Nile Spellbomb, which means we basically can't win with Dragon's Approach tutoring out a dragon because our opponent could just wipe our graveyard. And not only can they wipe our graveyard, which they do, but because of Luris, they essentially have a graveyard lock where they can Nile Spellbomb every turn. So we start playing towards Thrumming Stone. Our one possible out is to miraculously find a way to resolve it and win with the infinite damage combo. Well, we'll cast Thrumming Stone. And if our opponent counters it, then uh, then we're done. Yep. All right. That was close. That was super close. All right. Uh, against Thod's time, the dragons are approaching, hopefully in modern and uh eh, only one dragon's an approach but a ton of ways to dig through our deck and uh and find our goodies well land and running angry spin it to win it be good magic gods uh well that actually was not bad we discarded two dragon's approaches which is sweet we're up against prowess maybe this was our opponent's only land okay scalding tarn soul scar mage well, Aired Mesa. Crack it. Sacred Foundry untapped. Actually, I think we Cathartic Reunion first. All right, opponent. Certain Visions. Certain Visions finds a lead. Goes to combat. Hits us. 15. Come on. Oh, wait. All right, Lava Dart. Come on, Dragon's Approach. Yes! There it is. All right, so play the land. Locket of Yesterdays. 
dragons approach you. Does our opponent have a counter? Oh my god. If they have like force ne negation, dragons approach you. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's get Null Spine. Discard and draw six. Uh, yes, please. Pass the turn. Opponent uh, taps because we couldn't win with Halkite Overlord that turn anyway. So I think just getting the 7-5 and refueling is fine here. Mountain. Expressive iteration. And... Oh, no! Really? Okay. Vapor Snag. Interesting. That was unexpected. Opponent going to Mutagenic Growth there. Soul Scar Mage. Yeah, we might. We might be dead. Going to Lava Dart. We draw a Mountain. We're at four. Well, I guess we play the mountain. Play Season Pyromancer. Discard, discard. Burning Inquiry. Pass the turn, hope not to die. Our deck is doing it. We are absolutely doing it. I don't know if this is going to end with us winning, but about it. Golding Tarn. Sprite Dragon. Attacks. We drop to three. Hmm. No, one, two. Thrilling Discovery. Discard, discard. Go to combat attack wait does this leave us dead so if our opponent blocks here oh, one two yeah let's attack with everything all right opponent blocks a one one hopefully all right goes to six. Oh, dragon's approach dragon's approach oh that was one of the best games our deck could could possibly put together wow that was fast that was that was super fast. Flame Slash is in, and that was with our opponent ruining our our Null Spine Dragon. One Thrumming Stone, I think. Maybe the Null Spine. Do we want Bogart and Hellkite instead? Probably. And eh, does it even matter? Yeah, it's better against Vapor Snag. A Season Pyromancer and one Cathartic Reunion. Run it like that. All right about it. Let's see it. Sounds pretty bad. <laughs> We're gonna have to mulligan this. No card draw, dragon in hand. This is fine. Halkite Overlord to the bottom. Having one of our dragons in hand is actually a pretty big drawback. Monastery Schwiffspiaf for our opponent. Hits us. Well, Mountain and Flame Slash it. Go. Yeah. Eyelet for our opponent. And, uh oh. Alright, come on. Flame Slash number two, please. Opponent hits us. Arid Mesa. Crack it. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Discard, discard. Pass the turn. Spire Bluff Canal for our opponent. Yeah, this is scary. I do think we had to kill the Swift Spear, but Sprite Dragon is a, a very good follow-up for our opponent. Ooh, and another Swift Spear. All right, no spells. Does all creatures no spells? Oh, no. Oh, no. Metamorphose. Yeah. Lava Dart. Are we just dead? Soul Scar Mage. Opponent attacks. I'll play a mountain season pyromancer. Probably just dead though. Uh discard dragon's approach. Sacred foundry. Alright, pass the turn. So we got what, three in the graveyard? Opponent, sex the eyelet. All the, oh my goodness, it's alright, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that was that was a lot of threats. Many, many threats achieved. Maybe we need Anger at the Gods too? Let's go down one lock at one more Cathartic Reunion and try it like that. All right, we're on the play, huh? Many dragons approaches, but not enough lands to do much. All right, this is better. We will keep, we will put a mountain to the bottom and we'll see what happens. So we can Cathartic Reunion discard dragons approaches and see what develops. Spire Bluff and a Swift Spear. Down to 19. Well, land, Cathartic Reunion. Discard, discard. Pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. Oh, not again. All the dorks. Swift Spear attacks. Arid Mesa. Crack it. Sacred Foundry untapped. Thrilling Discovery. Opponent has a counter. Flame Slash a Swift Spear. Pass the turn. Could use some uh, some dragons approaches off the top. Opponent. Untap land. Sprite draw. How is our opponent so good at drawing creatures? Oh, uh, about it. And a Lava Dart. Opponent goes attacking. Thrilling Discovery. Discard, discard. Untap land. Cathartic Reunion. Discard, discard. Pass the turn. Ah, oh, we still have only hit three Dragon's Approaches. That's awkward. Opponent. Hey! More Sprite Dragons. All right. Well, fair enough. Well, interesting. All right. Uh against the odds time the dragons are approaching hopefully 
in modern. We're on the draw. I don't think we can keep this. It just doesn't do anything. Well, this one we'll keep, and I guess we just hope we draw lands. If we draw lands, it, uh, we draw one land, we should be able to get to where we want to be. Verdant Catacombs. Cracks it. Blood Crypto Depth. And Thought Seize. Opponent. Takes Cathartic Reunion. We'll play a land past the turn. Untaps. Stomping Grounds. Untap down to 13. Plays a Tarmogoyf. Well, Arid Mesa. Crack Arid Mesa. Can Jund beat Dragon's Approach? The real questions. Thrilling Discovery. Discard a couple cards. Pass the Turk. Well, that's not bad. We'll see if they got more Thought Seizes. If not, I like where we're at. Season Pyromancer discarding two, uh, two more Dragon's Approaches seems very good. Opponent gets it, hits us. Sure. Well, this is a big turn. This is a big turn. We'll play a land. We will Season Pyromancer. We will discard two Dragon's Approaches. Ooh, we didn't find one, though. Okay, so we need the Dragon's Approach. That's the missing piece of the puzzle. About it. Inquisition. Sure. Goes to combat. Passes. Come on, Dragon's Approach. Come on. Come on. Bloodstained Mire. Well, Bloodstained Mire. Crack it. Mountain. Burning Inquiry. Season Pyromancer. Pass the turn. All right, we found it. We found it in hand. Blackleaf Glyphs. About it. Wow, attacks with both. Interesting. Well, we will chump and chump. That is a weird attack. Another Goyf. Passes. Well, Dragon's Approach. Hit ya. Exile. Halkite Overlord. Combat. Attack. And? <laughs> oh, poor, poor Tarmogoyf. Poor, poor Tarmogoyf. <laughs> Oh, Jund, we t <laughs> Jund <laughs> apparently can apparently can't beat a dragon's approach. <laughs> we'll go we'll go down the lockets. <laughs> Try to be less reliant on the graveyard. Yeah, let's go up the blood moons. Run like that. Game two, Jund gets its revenge for us laughing at it after game one by drawing some sideboard cards. Grafdigger's Cage, really good against our deck. Keeps us from putting dragons into play with Dragon's Approach. Uh, maybe, like, Thrumming Stone can get there, or just naturally casting Dragon's Approaches, but of course, Jund also has a ton of discards. So we lose our Dragon's Approach, and then we lose our Thrumming Stone. Things are looking pretty bleak, with a Tarmogoyf beating us down. No realistic pathway to victory. We fight and claw and cast dragon's approaches but then our opponent seals the deal with sideboard card number two ashiok to wipe our graveyard there isn't any way dragon's approach is going to tutor out a hellkite overlord this game we know we can but in all honesty multiple hate cards to wipe our graveyard makes it really really difficult for our deck to actually do what it's trying to do ah so jund gets its revenge in game two and we're on to game three well Good sideboard plan. So, Blood Moon actually does not seem very good with how our opponent sideboarded. Maybe we'll just go with the Flame Slashes. They can kill Goyfs at some point. All right, we'll play first. I mean, I guess we keep it. No looting effects is annoying, but hopefully we'll draw into some of them. I mean, that is a huge percentage of our deck is stuff that lets us discard and draw. Sacred Foundry, tapped, go. Black Leaf Cliffs and... Inquisition of Kozilek takes Flame Slash. Well, Arid Mesa go. Boy, what we would give for like a seasoned Pyromancer. I mean, we also have to dodge Ashiok. If they have Ashiok, then then they have us. Bloodstained Mire. Opponent passes. We will crack thin the deck. Anything that draws and discards. Any, anything, anything. We will take it. Untap. All right, Thrilling Discovery. That counts. Thrilling Discovery. Discard a couple Dragon's Approaches. Play the mountain, pass the turn, come on, no Ashiox, no Ashiox, no Nile Spell Bombs, Relic of Progenitus, Torbot Scripts, etc, 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 etc. We're close, we're close. Opponent, Blood Crypt, tapped, untapped. If this is an Ashiox, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually really gonna cry. Opponent, land, frag, oh my god, they do have Ashiox, don't they? Oh, swamp. Okay, Season Pyromancer. Well, that's not Ashiok. Opponent discards some cards, makes some dorks. Well, we will also Season Pyromancer. And discard two dragons approaches. Pass the turn. Green mana. 
achieved. Bloodbraid Elf sp oh, spins into Coligan's command. All right. Well, that's fine. Well, here comes the dragon. We'll see if they can answer it. But the dragon is coming. All right, we'll discard a cathartic reunion. Pony gets a blood braid. Yeah. Attacks with everything. We will take it. Down to 14. Untap. Dragon's approach. Hit ya. Exile. Overlord. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, tag with everything. All right, this is it. This is, this is the game. Pony goes to five. Do they have a hard removal spell for a Hellkite Overlord? Come on, come on, come on, Jun. Come on, Jun. <laughs> oh, it's at five. Do they have the answer? We're in catacombs. Sp oh my goodness, gonna spin into a lightning bolt. That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. Bolts our face. Wait, 11, three, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. This shouldn't do it unless they have another lightning bolt in hand. Opponent attacks. Hits us to one. Passes. Uh, we will not crack the fetch land. <laughs> oh, Chun! It happened again! It happened again! <laughs> no matter no matter what pile of jank we build poor jund cannot cannot overcome it <laughs> well got him <laughs> sweet so what do we learn this week about dragon's approach in modern overall with the deck i went two and six all together although we should have won that amulet titan game like oh that loss was so brutal because we would have won if we hadn't just randomly drawn both Hellkite overlords but the deck it was pretty good at doing its thing. We saw the good and the bad. The deck can be really explosive. We had games where we were getting a Hellkite Overlord on like turn three, which is absolutely absurd. We got the ripple kill to fight through Graveyard Hate with Thrumming Stone. So we did get to see the deck be very explosive in a really weird way. On the other hand, there were two big issues that I think keep it from being really competitive. Well, maybe three. One is we get really wrecked by Graveyard Hate. That was a recurring issue through our games where our opponent would play like an Ashiok or a Tormod's Crypt or a rest in peace, some sort of graveyard, hey, even just a cling to dust, and that would blow out our plan of tutoring up a dragon. So that was one issue. Another issue is we can be a little slow if we don't have a strong draw, where especially against aggro, we don't really have interaction. So we're kind of just trying to goldfish into our kill. And if we're a little too slow and have like a turn four, turn five kill, you can't just get run over against combo or against aggro. And that is kind of thing number three, just the speed of the deck, not quite being up to par in general. Like our good draws are more than fast enough to compete with modern decks, but our average to below average draws are a little bit tough especially because we just don't have the interaction in the main deck because dragon's approach takes up so many slots in our deck we don't have room to play a bunch of removal spells or a bunch of hate cards or whatever we're pretty much all in on dragon's approach ways to support it our dragons uh, so there isn't just a lot of leftover space to play interaction which is especially troubling against those aggro decks where our opponent plays like a sprite dragon or just like oh, I, I guess you got us like hopefully we can combo off before you kill us but the deck was fun the deck is fun it does crazy explosive things it's hilarious when it works and of course Jun can't beat it which is the most important thing like if you go 0 and 10 with a against the odds deck but beat Jun, that still makes it worth it so the Jun meme lives anyway that's my dragon's approach that's better against the odds for this week hope you all enjoyed it thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Did you enjoy today's Against the Odds? Well, make sure to check out last week's episode where we played the most broken card from Throne of Alderaan in Modern. That's right, Circle Loyalty.